good evening uh somebody said that is a western music music doesn't belong to any country music belongs to the world and everything every music is wonderful a lot of things are similar in this world of music we may speak different language but we are talking about same thing our music pankaj asked me that i should tell something about our music before i start so i thought why not just tell you where we started where we reached today we estimate that this music started around 5000 years back it may be more it may be a little less but it's very very long time it started from the people who passed on this knowledge and all knowledges through oral tradition music is still taught in india in a oral tradition always uh, we hardly write anything we create music spontaneously but at the same time it's very complex it follows certain rules that they are very complex and very difficult to actually keep those rules intact so one way it is free another way it is extremely restricted and you have to find out you know the mean of it so basically music is not a technique music is not a a composition music is something that on the basis of this musical uh, techniques and knowledge that you obtain you have to say talk to people tell a story on what you are feeling that's music so we started at that time from the vedas vedas are basically the knowledge books uh, many i used to think that vedas are hinduism vedas are not hindu or islamic or christian vedas are encyclopedia of knowledge whatever they had they put it in the verses why because verses can be memorized easily than a text so everything is in the verses these verses were sung during the offering of the gods the gods were the natural forces and only one way they found to communicate and send this to the god is through fire because that was the only power where you offer something and it disappears so everything was offered to the fire today also in our rituals we use fire for that that hasn't changed everything started with the building block of music that is two intervals half tone interval and a full tone interval one you take a note a key note let's say to start just like what those who are musicians here they will understand what is a floating do system not c d e f g h no but do re mi fa sol la si that kind of a system so the do has to be there in order to decide what is re what is mi what is fa if do is not there nothing is there right so this do we used to call swarita that swara or note then sa if this sound is do then re this is a half tone high sa ni one tone down so sa re ni sa re ni sa ni sa re sa the whole vedic chanting started with three notes now i have some recordings because there was no recording of these things right there was no recording at all whatsoever and there was nothing written it was a oral tradition so today the people who know veda sometimes they can't sing and the people who sing they don't know what is in vedas right so we put them together you direct and the ones who want to who can sing will sing that created some kind of a thing where it gives you an idea about what was that music at that time it is yesterday's recording but it gives you a glimpse of what it could be at one time here is a sample of vedic chanting first of all ha 
started on ma that's the fourth note ma ga re sa ni da pa ma ma and pa and sa these were treated as the original note and the same rules were applied to sing at that time some of the instruments were invented so there was an accompaniment in this music you don't find accompaniment just the voice second stage is samagaya here is an example of samagaya oh So the rhythm cycle was not developed in Jati Gaya. You will see that there is a rhythm cycle, and the octave became ascending. Here is Jati Gaya. standard 19 jatis which people used to sing and the poetry was coming from vedas there was no reference that any other poetry or any other hymns were allowed and everything was prefixed decomposed and rules were given and they were followed <laughs> 